All right, let's get this shit on the roll. So, common sense. It's a phrase we've all heard. And you don't have any. Bullshit. I've got a lot of common sense that you don't have common sense. <laughs> That's my point. Common sense. No, no, no. I want to say common doesn't s- exist. Common but sense I don't is mean just common sense. There's not different right. types of common sense. Common sense is you don't stick your finger in a fucking toaster while it's on. You don't stick your so, pee up a fucking. You don't. You don't pee on an electrical fence. So. People will do that, though. Just saying. Well, common sense tells you not to. Otherwise, you're going to be shocking your dick off. Actually, you won't. But that it, you won't. Have you done it? Uh, yes. mm. It all depends on how far away you are from it. And when it first comes out of the urethra, it's a solid stream, so the current can then go up. But if you step further back, that stream spreads apart into a splatter, and then there's nowhere for the electricity to keep going. But whenever I say common sense doesn't wait. exist, I don't mean yeah. that. Wait, wait. Is it, <laughs> so is this? The about the electricity and the stream and the splatter and all this. How many, how many times have you done it? Quite a few. Not important. Again, coming back around to the common sense, one would beg to differ you don't have any. How many times have you peed on a fence? None. Why? I don't want to shock my dick off. How many times have you been off. around an electrical fence? A lot. I had one. You never once tried it? No. Come on. I'm being honest. No. I mean, I've tried a bark collar before. <laughs> Common sense tells you not to do that, too. But I want to see what my dog has to experience. Well, now we're going into the phrase of curiosity killed the cat. But whenever I'm going to say common sense doesn't exist, I don't mean that it doesn't exist within people. I mean the term itself really shouldn't exist. Because the only way to gain uh, any sort of sense is by living. Is by being taught. So if you're, if depending on how you're raised, where you're raised, all of that will depend on which type of common sense, air quotes, common sense you have. If you're raised on a farm, everything about farming is common sense to you. How ca- how cash how cows feed, how, what you should do to them every single day, what you should look for, how you should no. fix all of your issues. That's not common Whereas, sense. That is taught knowledge no. versus. But common if you sense is not walking into a fucking wall. If you go to a town, you don't get in a car accident. If you go or to peeing a town, on a fucking electrical fence. Is, if you go to a town that is mostly consistent of farmers, all of that is common sense to them. Everybody should know. But if you go to the city, nobody knows. But they'll That's be telling me, "Oh, I've been doing this since I was a kid. My grandfather taught my dad. My dad taught me." And you can, you, can say the same with, you can say the same with mechanics. No. But it's not common sense, though. But to it, mechanics, it is. It is not. You can even ask my dad. My dad's been a mechanic for almost 30 years. Right, but that's my point. The different names of tools, even, should be common, common sense. sense. The difference between a crescent wrench and a socket wrench. Metric and standard. To most, but to most men, all of that is common sense, as they put it, but it's not. So what is a common what does common everything. sense mean to you? To me, very rare very rarely will anything fall under the subject of common sense. Putting your the stove no, no, is no, hot no, 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 no. Time out. That's, I'm asking you, what does common sense mean to you? Common sense to me means something. Everybody in all walks of life should know. Of a what? Stove it, huh? Yeah. Common sense means good sense and sound judgment of practical matters. So you saying common sense 
for a farmer, that's not common sense to I, someone in the city. I know it's not. But right? It's not the but same. Most people in any anywhere in No. In any town will say something as common sense even though it's not. And then they get aggravated with people and then shout out, well, nobody has common sense these days. We don't have your common sense, but that doesn't mean we don't have common sense. People do lack common sense nowadays. Yes, some people do in a lot of areas. But, like, walking down the street, one, you should... Cross the fucking street, not walk down it a couple of lane aisles of parking spaces and then turn into yours. No, you fucking cross over and then make your way. Yes, I've almost ran over quite a few people because of that stupid bullshit. And then that whole that's, that's when they're worth right of way. That's huh? when they're, that's when they're worth fifty points. Right, we, we, we give points and, to people. Yeah, and then that. That whole thing of whenever somebody stops and lets you cross over the street, and then you don't speed the fuck up. <laughs> a crosswalk? There weren't a hundred, in my opinion. A crosswalk? Because it, was it a crosswalk? Did you have to stop? Because then they have the right to walk any way they want. Only no. in the crosswalk, though. No. you. And no, I want to see. I want to see knees to chest. No, bitch. Or if you are too works. big to run. At least, let me see you pick up a little bit of speed, just or even a wave or something. I, I, let I me know. Hey, I'm not gonna walk any faster than I have to. I'm in the designated. You're just gonna take your time. I'm in the designated walking area. Just stop for you. If they have the right of way and it flashes like yield to pedestrians, I'm gonna take my fucking time. I'm walking no. around at my pace. At my pace. No. So I'm not gonna walk faster for the convenience of the driver because that's not my that's not my responsibility. Your responsibility as a driver is to watch out for pedestrians in pedestrian designated areas. No, you. I'm not saying run, but you pick up the pace. No, I'm too pregnant to pick up any pace. If. <laughs> Darius wanted you to play fucking bumper cars with the fucking car, it sounds like. No. <laughs> so if it's an elderly, are you expecting them to run? What? If it's the elderly, are you expecting them to pick up the pace? Because they only walk at a pace, and that's it. I have seen people with walkers still at least try to speed up a little bit. <laughs> Do that again? And I thank them for it. I can be patient. Yeah, it's <laughs> the whole little walker thing. <laughs> But I have seen elder people do that. And then, yeah, they stop in the middle of the street, look at me, wave, and then keep trying to go. And I'm fine with it. I can be more patient whenever I see somebody trying. I mean, I'll give you a wave when I acknowledge that you stopped. For me, I'll be like, oh, thanks, and I'll walk. But I'm not going to change my pace for you. And what does this have to do with common sense? And the so time I grew up in, pedestrians are supposed to speed up when a car stops for you and walk across faster is what the common mm. sense sounds like. In a lot of places, yes, that is common sense. You wave as you're moving faster. You don't. The only act time I'm gonna and then take a leisurely stroll across the street. <laughs> no, no, no. So the only time I'm gonna hurry across the street is if I'm crossing it like fucking Frogger, like where I'm supposed to. Not be crossing. Trying not to die. Yeah, exactly. That's otherwise. If I'm on a crosswalk and it gives me the fucking little hand to walk or the little walkie guy, I'm walking you at my leisure. You don't even look both ways, do you? You'd see that green arrow and then like they have to stop. They do. <laughs> By law, they have to. They have to. But they have to they have to, that doesn't mean they won't. They have the right of way to cross at the designated cross time. And no, and I wouldn't not, just home. walk. I will definitely no, hush. Hush your mouth. I will look both ways. I'm not going to fucking idiot be like, oh, this car's not going to stop. Okay. But well, there's people like that out there that, in their common sense, air quotes, is I have the right of way. They're going to stop. So I'm going to go without it, looking or anything. It is common sense, I feel, to look both ways before crossing, even when you have the designated walk sign. 
Yes, I believe that. I do, because I've had experience where people just didn't give a shit that there was a pedestrian, even though the pedestrian had to ride away, and they kept going. So I didn't fucking even try to cross. Right away means nothing in reality. Yes, they're supposed to stop. That doesn't mean they're going to. But if they don't, and something happens, they are automatically at fault because they are not obeying the laws when it yeah, comes to that. Yeah, but how is that going to make you feel better when you're splattered across the page? They'll be going to jail for vehicular manslaughter. Oh, what? You're dead. Your family's going to feel horrible. They're, the <laughs> only person it's hurting is you and your family. And their family, because their now relative is now in jail. So they'll get out and move on with their lives. And then I will sue them. You're dead. Okay, then Jess will sue, I'll them. sue them. So you're saying you'd rather have money? One thing, though, too, is I feel like people mm. lack it nowadays, too, when it comes to, like, the right away with pedestrians is that they forget the laws of the road and they care only about themselves. They have too many distractions instead of the paying problem, attention to what is going on at that moment. The problem is people feel entitled. <clears throat> okay, time out. That they- time out. I have a question for you, Garrett. This is way more what? important what you have to say at this moment. Okay. When all four vehicles come to a four-way stop sign, who goes first? I think it was the one to the right. The first one to stop. Well, you said at the same time, right? Correct. So Gary's cor- correction is uh, statement is correct, and yours is not. I did not hear at the same time. What, I said, which, I heard four vehicles. Which is also a huge clusterfuck, because if you think about it, all four people show up at the same time, right? Everyone has a different right. A, B, C, D. That's how we're going to name these vehicles. Everyone has a different right. Yeah. So everybody's still just stuck. <laughs> so what I do is if I'll go up there and if I, I'll look around, see who's going first. If I slowly start moving forward and everyone else starts going forward, I have been known to throw my car in park and walk into the middle of that intersection and direct traffic <laughs> until it is my turn to go, and then I tell everyone else to stop, get back in my car, and I go. <laughs> we have a problem where people come to the stop before us, and then they don't go. And then they try to go when you go. Same thing. I have stepped out of my car and w- pointed at them, and then went, you know, pointed in their dire- whichever direction they were trying to go. <laughs> so the motion, get the Yes, <laughs> yesterday we were coming home and obviously this car in front of us had no common sense. They had their blinker on, okay? And, a, and, a, and the turn light was on the left and they were in the straight lane. And I was like, oh, maybe they just forgot to turn off the blinker. But I even said the statement. I was like, if you're trying to turn, you got to get in the turn lane to your left. There's an arrow that says, hey, this is a turn lane here. Here. The only, the only turn lane. It's a single turn. Anyways, so we were going finally on a green light. That motherfucker went from the straight only lane and turned left. Cut the person in the left turn only lane off. And plus t- cutting off everybody that they were turning in front of. Yeah, see, I don't see that as lack of common sense. I see that as entitled. Where they think these rules... <laughs> Do not apply. To them. I think it's also they, lack of common sense, though. Like, it's lack of common sense that they just get in the fucking turn lane. No, they knew. I feel comfortable saying they knew that that was a turn lane. They knew they were in a straightaway, but they didn't care because that's how a bunch of people in the north drive. I'm going to throw on my blinker and start merging. If they hit me, oh well. Most, because they know most of the time those vehicles that they're about to smash into are going to stop and let them in. Well, okay, now there that's another statement there. I will do that too because if the motherfucker's not going to let me merge over when I have a blinker on to merge over and they're being an asshole to ride up on my ass and not let me merge over when I had a blinker on for the entire time because this happened yesterday too and then they try to cut me off at the light... They're going to, no, that's bullshit. Like, I think it also all depends. Like, on those people that will ride 
all the way up to a construction zone where it's trying to merge over and you're passing everybody and then you finally get there and then you throw your blinker on and try and ram someone else off the road no that person is the asshole everybody else has been waiting Correct. Because we've all seen these signs a mile back saying that left lane ends. I mean, well, there's also signs to indicate a turn lane. So it's not like entitlement. It's just like they're being fucking stupid. Well, no. they The people that do both your thing and my thing are only entitled. They think, to hell with everybody else. I'm more important. I should be allowed up here. I should be allowed to do whatever I want. They know the rules. They have enough common sense saying, no, I should get over. It's going to be backed up. People are waiting. Or, hey, that's a turn lane, but I want to get around all these people, so I want to go all the way up here. See, and one of the problems that we have here with our turn lanes, like we'll have a double turn lane, right? And people will only get into like one and back up. It'll back, It'll back up so bad, bad that, like, the traffic, the traffic is stopped because they can't get into that second turn lane. So people just won't go into the second turn lane? You're right. Like, like lack, lack of common sense. Like, hey, there's room over here. So why don't we go over here? Instead, Instead of, they just keep, keep lining up in the one turn lane and it backs up traffic. And then you, and have, then you have to, like, try to get around and, like, push your way in so you can get into that other turn lane. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's lack of common sense on how to merge into lanes. People, people lack, lack that all the time. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve in, in sitting in traffic is people lack the common sense to let lanes merge in or people merge into a lane. Yeah, I'm all for working together. But even the, even the law states you're supposed to keep so much distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. And the reason they set that distance is so oncoming traffic can easily merge in between two vehicles. It's one vehicle length for every 10 miles. Or 10 miles per hour. Let me repeat that. And then when you're at a stop... I'm not about to keep six car lengths in between me and the person in front of me at six miles. It's so you have a safe... I was always... If there's I, was always I was always told three car lengths. Bye. Bye. Technically, Technically, like, like DOT, DOT standards, standards, it's one car length for every 10 miles an hour. So if there is an accident, that you have a safe, safe stopping distance without causing more damage or harming other people. And then, like, when you come sure to a stop... I thought it was a three-second rule. Yeah, are you sure it wasn't? Yeah, I, was, I heard three-second rule. It's but not. It's maybe, exactly. Are you sure you weren't thinking 10 mile, or one car length every 10 miles an hour up to... Three car lengths? No, no it's, it's supposed, supposed to be one car length for every 10 miles, miles an hour for a safe stopping distance. Because the faster you're going, the longer it takes to stop. Yes, but so, at 70 so, miles an hour, you don't need. If you guys remember your brakes because a car just flipped in front of you and you don't, and you don't have that seven car lengths, you're going to plow into that car 75% of the time. And then when you come to a stop, it's supposed to be the bottom of the tire is visible at your hood line. Because, because of people who drive standards, and when they roll back, they don't hit you. I think Marcus is Googling this. He certainly is, because he wants to check facts, because that's what he does. I, I, no, I just... I, exactly I, what he does. I do check facts. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but I just don't... I don't think it's... It's, it's also look. something you, you learn in, uh, like, if you get a ticket and they're like, oh, well, you can take the traffic safety class. Yeah, and I took the traffic safety class. They also teach you in the tra traffic safety classes. Yeah, yeah I, I took one of those. So how, how many have you been in? Three seconds. Three let, me ask, let me ask these questions. How many have you been in? One. Two, two, how many have you been? How many of what? Tra uh, safety traffic schools. One. So I've been in six. Jesus Christ, why? Motorcycle. You didn't learn anything from the first five? <laughs> Mot motorcycle. Motorcycle. From getting a ticket, they let you take it six times. Every two years. You got a ticket every two years, so they're like, oh yeah, you can take it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> every two years. Um, it's a very generic. 
It's, it's right, a very well, generic well, standard, right. okay. Right. But like most, like most people yeah. do, yeah. Up, to up to three car lengths. Not, not every state, state will teach that, that, but a lot of states do. Like I know in Arizona, that's one thing that they teach is DOT standards is every car uh, for every 10 miles an hour, there's 10, 10 like, like one car length because, because of the safe stopping, stopping distance. distance. If, you're if you're going 75 miles an hour and you're only a car and a half away from this car that just rolled, you're going to plow into this car and possibly kill these people. Right, look, if they're not already dead. Meerkat's looking up. So, Jess is age. completely correct. Jess is correct? Jess is correct. One second for each 10 feet of vehicle length. With an additional... So, it's seconds. It's not car lengths. But that's so, how they measure it. A car length is a second. Is usually how they measure it. So, for every one second is, is for each 10 feet of a vehicle length. And Which after, is like uh, after 40 technique. miles per hour, f for example, for a 50-foot tractor trailer traveling at 55, the recommended distance is at least six seconds behind them. Which would be equivalent to six cars. Well, look, we're getting off topic here. No. My point that's being... Good, that's, good, that's, good, that's, good common that's good common sense. That's good common sense. Well, no, because that can't be common sense because it's different in every state. That's, That's the generic rule for DOT, which is Department of Transportation, which is across the board, universal, for ninety percent of the time. But but the fact is is that the lack of knowledge and absorbing that knowledge in states and especially with teenage drivers nowadays is gone out the window. But I also had to have licenses with DOT, so I had to know these laws and regulations. Do you know any laws that, when riding behind the Amish? No. Exactly, but it's common sense and DOT law in Kentucky because we've got all Kentucky. sorts of them stupid motherfuckers. Is it? It's but, not common sense. That's not that's what not common. That's not a definition that, of common that's sense. My, that's my point, though. That's, that's not a definition. That's I hate not that phrase of common sense so but much because it's nothing not. is common. Nothing is common. It's common knowledge. Stuff that's just common knowledge and com common judgments and its situations. It's judgmental. It's not common sense like what's common. In... It's common sense to lift your foot up to make up the next step, not to slide your foot across the ground. It's common sense not to touch a fucking stove with your hand when it's My on. My child has done that right. because he thought someone else did it. And he's like, oh, it's not hot? Shh. I did it just a couple My back. point being, for the majority of things, any time, majority of times when people say you lack common sense or you don't have common sense or this is common sense, 90% of the time, it's actually not common sense. Common sense is not to eat Tide Pods, but we have a generation that did that and snorted condoms. That is also common sense to not do those kinds of things because it is not smart. Stuff is toxic. They even have to put stickers to tell you not to stick your fucking penis and stuff. Because it's not meant to go in there. I'm one of those people that says take the warning labels off of everything. Just take it off. Are you one of those people who's going to take touch a radiator cap right after you stop driving your car? Because it's common sense not to do that. But you're checking to see if it's hot. You're not going to just stick your hand right on top of it and burn a triangle in your hand or a circle in your hand. Because that chick gets over 150 degrees or hotter. And you'll figure it out the first time. But it's common sense not to touch it. Because you have a gauge in your car that says if your car's hot or cold. Well, that also all depends on if you were raised around vehicles, period. Not really. Yes, it. People who aren't or were never taught anything about underneath the hood won't know anything about that. Most of the time, they won't even open the they hood. They won't Unless there's smoke coming out. And then they might accidentally touch it. But it's common sense not to. Right, but you, then, you see it in movies, though. That's the thing. The thing is, it's portrayed in movies and TV shows. Yeah, but like, then there's that whole thing of, oh, well, that's just over-exaggerated because of fake. Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. It, which a lot of things in Hollywood are. But My titties. Point is, anything. <laughs> what? Nothing. He said fake uh, things in Hollywood are fake, and then he goes like titties. Yeah, but 
<laughs> That's not, not common sense, sense, though, that most of the it, days they <laughs> When it comes to machinery or how to fix things or even astronomy. That well, say that word again? Huh? Say that word again. Astronomy? Stars? Talk about stars? Yeah, like the uh, constellations. None of that's common sense. None of that's common sense. A lot of people claim it is. That's because they went to school for it. And they're like, oh, well, it's common sense for us who are working in this field. But basic basic common common sense, people lack. Like, don't put stuff in laundry detergent. It was was taught, constellations were taught in middle school. Not in my middle school. It was. That's why we went to that freaking little place downtown. And then you looked at the chairs and you saw like. The planetarium? Yeah. At the Natural History Museum? Yeah, that place. We didn't go over constellations. Yes, you did. That's all the planetarium does. No, we went over the history I'll of our solar system. But that's not co- that's not constellations. Look, I can't even remember. I can't argue with a woman that doesn't like to argue. I have a Point really, is, really good question. Very rarely, less than ten percent of the time, anybody says common sense. Is it actually common sense? So when I say common sense, I talk about basic, like, you shouldn't do that shit because it's, you're going to get hurt or it's, you're going to cause harm to someone else. Like basic common sense. There is a standard of basic common sense that everyone should have. And unfortunately, not everyone has that shit. Correct. Like, I get it. The stove is hot. Yeah, that... I'm pretty sure that one could be considered common sense. (laughs) Okay, that's my point. There's a basic line of common sense. Being an electric (laughs) electric fence, it's common sense not to. For For most most people. people. Grow up around electric fences and figure out what it's actually what. I did. Then I'm really surprised you never see that. No, that's taught. Do you eat yellow stone? No, because my mom told me not to. But it becomes common sense not to. But that's only for people who were around snow. No. Generally. No. There's a baseline baseline of basic common sense in this world that you learn. Because everything is learned because you don't know shit when you're born. Get it may be off common topic in now. one area, but not all. And that's where people get confused. There is, there is a baseline of basic common sense across the board. All the way. You can't say there's not, because there is. Even yes. the Amish, who don't have cars, they have horse and buggy and do everything by hand. They also know not to stick their hand in a fire because it's fucking hot and they'll burn themselves. Okay. There's a baseline of common sense across the board, all the way across, no matter where you're at. I'm like I said. Yes, there are. That's what I was saying. Very small percentage of anything is actually common sense. Very small percentage. But that's why I'm also one of those people where take the warning labels off people, and then suddenly a lot more things will become common sense. Some hey, that's a rotating learn. sharp ass blade. Perhaps I shouldn't touch it. Some people have to. Figure it out on their own. But, like, again, when it comes to common sense, common sense means, like, just the baseline. Like, a baseline of common sense of, like, where your judgment's at. And the things you should or should not do because of the harm that they could potentially cause you or someone else. So there is a baseline across the board, whether people like that statement or not. And, yes, people are like, oh, well, this is common sense to us. Yeah, because you've been doing it for 150 fucking years. And not only you, but everybody around you. That. Yeah, That's like, where the problem lies. And, and yes, people use this, the phrase common sense in unnecessary places. But at the same time, common sense, there is a basic common sense across the board for anyone, everywhere, doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, I agree with that. That's just like if you talk to a bunch of older people where they know all about history and I, I'm terrible at fucking history. I cannot remember hardly anything from it. That's why. And they're like, "Here, this book. is common sense." It's like, mm, just because you know it doesn't mean make it 
common sense. So yes, we're all in agreement. But yes, we're all in agreement. There is a baseline, but everybody has overlooked that line and has constructed their own opinion of what's common sense. Yeah. Which was constructed okay. from the area around them. I got one more thing before we go. Garrett. Erica. Would you rather have sex with the body of your mother-in-law with your wife's brain, mind in it, or your mother-in-law's mind in your wife's body? So when you say have oh, no, sex no, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, it's your mother. I'm sorry. So would you rather have sex with your mother, with your wife's brain, mind? So her way of thinking, her thought process, her personality, her mind. and your mom's body, or your mom's personality and her mind and her thought process in your wife's body. Who would you rather have sex with? And but, you, you have to choose one to have sex with because that's the only way you can switch them back. Correct. All right, so it's only going to be once, and it's just like, hey, this is what happened. we got to get this fixed, and bam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, then my mom and my wife's spot. So you'd have sex with your wife with your mom's personality and mind. So your mom will forever remember having sex with you. Yeah. <laughs> but I can just tell her to shut up, and I can do my business. Just duct tape her mouth so she can't talk? Or ball gag, whichever. Wait, wait. Which one did you choose? Have sex with my wife's body. And his mother's mind. Yeah. What would you choose? I mean, it may scar my mother, but, I mean, I'm going to live happy. Yeah, i choose the same thing because I could never picture having sex with my mom's body. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a whole visual thing with <laughs> yeah, that no, question. There's no way. So. Yeah, we were talking about that last night. It is a visual aspect of the whole thing. It's like I couldn't know. I may not even know it happened. They may, My mother and wife may talk about it. Just, like, just this drink book. a shit ton before you do it. It won't even fucking matter after that. Yeah, if Jamie comes up to me completely hammered, I'm not going to think twice. I'm going to be like, here we go. I may not know what happened. Yeah, but your mom will remember for the rest of your life. Well, hopefully she's drunk enough to to not remember. Yeah. Again, not my problem anymore. <laughs> well, sorry, mom, if you ever... That was her, her body. Sorry, mother, if you ever listen to this, but... I, it, <laughs> what would your answer be? It, I... <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. To me, it's the most logical response. Jess, what was your answer? It doesn't apply to me, because... Would you rather have sex with, with your Mar dad's Mar mind Mar and... Marcus's body, 100% all day long. It's how would it not apply to you? I mean, like, I mean, like we're talking about women, so that's why I was like, it doesn't apply to me. I don't have reverse wife. the genders. Your dad's mind and your husband's body... I would, or, I would choose. I would choose my husband's body, and hopefully just not realize what's happening. Well, that's the main aspect. Do I know what's happening? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're back to ball gag, and I guess I don't know. some fucking duct tape. No more words for you. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is my wife's body is saying yes. <laughs> Well, thank you so, for yeah. listening. Let us know your answers on that one. Let's find out how sick we really are. Bye, guys. Bye.